What is going on? Sean here with Rendered Reality. Welcome to VR Espresso, your quick weekly VR highlights. The month of December is setting the world of VR on fire with amazing releases to look forward to. The big ones this week are Mist, which is a VR remake of the beloved classic from Cyan, a starkly beautiful island eerily tinged with mystery and shrouded with intrigue. Explore the deeper connections and uncover a story of ruthless family betrayal. Unravel the puzzles and become part of the epic story. Keep an eye out for this one December 10th. The other big game this week is Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. We have all been excited for this one for a long time with what looks to be an amazing single player campaign and online multiplayer. A lot of us have become a little bit concerned with the massive file size of this game and the recommended specs of an RTX 2080. Ouch. We will have to wait till December 12th to know for sure, but I really hope Respawn does this one justice and blows us all out of the water. Resolution Games is no stranger to VR games. With games like Akron, Attack of the Squirrels, Cookout, Blast On, and many more, they have announced a new upcoming VR title that they are calling Demio or Demeo. I don't even know how to say it. They are calling all RPG fans to unite in VR. A dark force has taken over the underworld in the upcoming RPG dungeon crawler, and it's a world you're probably not going to survive alone. It appears this is going to be a turn-based RPG dungeon crawler game with tabletop gaming inspirations to emulate that classic board game experience. And one of the best parts is that it is going to be a multiplayer title. This game may bring a whole new meaning to the game night. Set to release in 2021, coming to Quest, Rift, and Steam, as well as a non-VR title that is going to be playable with PC players and VR. Vertigo Games is up to something interesting, and we're not talking about After the Fall, which I am very excited for. They are actually set to publish Unplugged Air Guitar. Yep, you heard it right. Rock out with your hands out. Utilizing the hand tracking of the Oculus Quest headset, relive your glory days shredding on your air guitar, or maybe the glory days of Guitar Hero Concert. This is set to release in 2021, and it will be interesting to see if the Oculus Quest hand tracking will be good enough to make this a compelling experience. I am just a little bit skeptical. Lone Echo 2, a title VR fans have been excited about for a long time. Unfortunately, it has gotten pushed back again until early 2021, which I am actually okay with simply because we have so many good VR titles coming in the month of December. I just simply don't have enough time to play all of them and enjoy them as much as I would like. Either way, I don't think this title will disappoint and it'll probably be worth the wait. Another game that has unfortunately been delayed until 2021 is Right the Eye of Atlantis, which allows you to explore the lost city of Atlantis in its last days. From the trailer, it is looking really good, but you have to wait until January 27, 2021 to go exploring. In other news, a lawsuit has been filed today against Facebook from the Federal Trade Commission, following an investigation backed by the Attorney General of 48 states and territories. They are alleging that the company is illegally maintaining its personal social networking through a years-long course of an anti-competitive conduct. Oculus, which is owned by Facebook, was not directly mentioned in the lawsuit, but the outcome of the case could have a wide range of repercussions for all of Facebook's business sectors. We will have to wait and see what comes of this, but leave your thoughts on this matter in the comments below. I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship for Facebook. Without Facebook, VR may honestly not be where it is today, but I think a lot of people would agree that they have a little bit of shady business practices. And that's it for this week's VR Espresso. We hope you have a blast playing some newly released VR titles this week, and we hope to see everyone here Saturday morning for Coffee and VR. Later.